I can't wait to return to school. And I must thank Pam for this. She convinced the principal to get me back. Cherry Barry left the school. The students began their protests. We need her back. What she meant was, after I left the school, the students began their protests. So, they need me back. The truth is, I miss being connected, and I need more color in my life. <laughs> Hi. I'm Miss Cherry Berry, your substitute teacher. What's with the carrot? I was hungry. I can't afford steak. I'm kidding. He works hard. He gets a promotion. You mean, he works hard so that he gets a promotion? But who's burning your carrot? Or, did she mean, he works hard before he gets a promotion? Now, he just wants her job. I must have been away too long. I don't understand people. They are not connecting their thoughts. Or, is it up to me to connect those thoughts for them? This looks like a happy occasion. But, she is running away from him. She has a fear of commitment. She is running away from him, because she has a fear of commitment. I hope school is less bleak. I need to connect. I need connectors. Welcome back, Cherry. Finally a familiar face. You were away. The teachers spoke of your infectious laughter. The teachers spoke of my infectious laughter, when I, was away. The students danced outside the principal's office. The principal would get you to come back. You mean, the students danced outside the principal's office, so that he would get me, to come back? Oh dear, I need some coffee. Coffee can calm me down. You need some coffee, because it can calm you down. Let's get out of here. Hey, you used a connector to join my thoughts. We are connecting again. I had an interesting time connecting sentences earlier. They became easier to understand, with connectors. Let me try to explain this. Earlier, I came across many simple sentences. These sentences were easily understood, on their own, but as pairs, their meanings were unclear. Look at the first pair of sentences. How is the idea of working hard, connected to getting a promotion? We need the right connector, to show how the two ideas are related to each other. If we use so that, we are saying that he works hard, for the purpose of getting a promotion. So, we use the connector, so that, when we want to give the purpose for something. But, if we use before, we are saying that first, he works hard. Then, he gets a promotion. It also suggests that he no longer works hard, after the promotion. So, we use the connector, before, to show that two events are happening in a particular order. Look at this pair of sentences, and think about the connector, that can join the sentences meaningfully. Her fear of commitment, is the reason why she is running away, so, we use because, to connect the two sentences. To make their relationship clearer. The connector because, is used to give a reason for something. Let's look at this sentence. I wish I was there, when this happened. Unfortunately, I had left the school then. So, to make the meaning clear, we connect the two sentences with, when. The connector when, is used to show that more than one thing, is happening at the same time. I get it. I should have used more connectors so that others could have understood me better. You just did. You used the connector, so that. I can do that, because you are, as always, a great teacher. I will get a cake, to celebrate your return, before you report to class. What a surprise. It had better be coffee flavored. Pam and I have reconnected with connectors. Before I catch up with her, let's recall what connectors are. Connectors are used to join sentences, to show their relationship. Different connectors signal different relationships, so we need the right one, to convey our intended meaning. 
I'll have to reconnect with you at a later date, as I don't want to keep Cam waiting. Bye.